Hey everyone, hope you're all having a wonderful holiday season. I actually haven't been doing a lot of hobby stuff lately, it's been really hot here in Queensland, Australia. So I've been taking a little bit of a break, but I plan to jump back into it sometime, uh, maybe late January. In the meantime though, I got a delivery recently that I thought would be fun to unbox on the channel. I haven't opened this or had a look yet, uh, so it is from uh, Muse Kits. And it is the Real Terrain Hobbies box. If you don't watch the Real Terrain Hobbies channel, it's really good. Uh, the host is also named Neil, like me, so that just shows you that it's quality. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this and see what we can make with it. Before I start opening this, uh, these videos are never sponsored. However, if you want to support what I do, uh, check out Hobby Life on the iOS App Store. It's completely free to download and it lets you organize and track your hobby spending and painting. Recently a bug in iOS uh, caused it to stop working for a little while, so I got a lot of uh, negative reviews, which kind of sucks. So if you can uh, leave a review after you've tried it out, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so let's start with the box itself. Uh, it's really freaking heavy. It is the Builder's Kit uh, Fire and Hammer. If you want to check it out for yourself, the address is right here. That's musekits.com forward slash builders kit. Okay, so I just changed into my top down camera. Let's have a look at what we got. Okay, so we have a card explaining everything that's in the box. This is a very long list of stuff, very cool. Okay, so starting at the top, we've got some tweezers, cotton swabs, and stuff. We have some army painter uh, terrain bits. And um, it looks like flock. Some more different types of flock. Very useful. Okay, now it's like we've got some acrylic paints here. Oh, interesting. I haven't used these brand before, so uh, eager to try those out. Okay, so we have a pretty good range of colors, including uh, two metallics, a gel stain. And you've got enough primary colours here that you'll be able to make whatever you need to. And there's a lot of it too, so you should be able to do a fair bit of terrain work with this. So that's really cool. Look forward to trying these out. Okay, what else you got? Got some more grass flock. So it's good that you get a few different colours to choose from. Okay, so we've got some casting compound now. So uh, looking at the pictures on there, it looks like you can mould with it. So that'll be interesting. I wonder what we could use that for. Almost 800 grams here, so that's quite a fair bit. We have some sponges, always very useful. Um, uh, these are great when you're uh, just painting things like terrain and you just want to dab on some detail to them. We have a craft knife, always useful. It looks like this one's been especially branded for real terrain hobbies. So that's a one of a kind craft knife, I suppose. Okay. Here we have some grass tufts. Oh, I really like these tufts, they're pretty cool. So there's ordinary woodland tufts. And I really like these ones uh, that are more shrubbery and some flowers. They look really cool and add some good detail. I have some of these paint droppers. I haven't used these much before, but uh, they're uh, useful if you're mixing paints. Maybe they will come in handy with these acrylics, I'm not too sure. Uh, I'll have to read into what each of these items uh, is intended for. Some weathering pigments uh, in pastel blocks. I haven't used uh, weathering pigments too much in my miniatures before, but uh, they do have a really interesting effect. Wow, we're only halfway through it and there's already a lot of stuff on the table. That's a really cool tin. And here we have some detailed sculpting tools. Very cool. Really like the quality. Each tool has a fair bit of weight to it, and nice little tin. Yeah, that's that's fun. There's a little spray bottle. Uh, this will be really useful um, using with the weathering pigments because you sort of want to wet down the surface first uh, in order to get the pigments to stick to things. Yeah, there's a number of times we just need to wet down the surface first to. Uh, um, get some real results. So it's good that that's included. Have some more sculpting tools. Uh, I'm assuming this is more for like cutting your putty and stuff like that and shaping it. A wire brush. Uh, this will be really good for like roughing up 
uh, terrain and like balsa wood and things like that. Here we have a brush set. Uh, again, it's all custom made with Real Terrain Hobbies logo on it. Not too sure what type of brushes these are, but it does say mixed media. So it'll definitely be fine for the acrylics that are included. Now oh, this is so much stuff. Here we have a small hacksaw. That's pretty cool. Should be good for cutting balsa wood. Uh, apparently also plastics and soft metals. So uh, that's really nice to have included. Here we have another brush again with the custom logos on it. Got some glues. Uh, I've used this wood glue before, the Allen's brand. It's really good. Okay, and we also have some gap filler. Looks like it's mostly meant to be used with wood. Um, yeah, I'll have to read more into that one. Now we have the cordless glue gun. Uh, I remember I was really excited to check this one out, so I'm just going to put it to the side and we'll have a look at that after we get through a few more things. It looks like we have some paper mache here. I imagine they'll be really useful for sculpting some terrain and adding some detail. There's quite a lot here too. Uh, again, it's like half a kilogram, so that'll last me for ages. We have some balsa wood. Easily enough to make uh, a few reasonably sized structures, so that, that's really good. We've got two of these large sheets and a bunch of these beams. And here is what I think is either the stable or uh, like a blacksmith's workshop. So it's all pre-cut wood. And there's quite a lot of it, so I'll be interested to see how this comes together. It has instructions with it. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. You can uh, get this kit and start building straight away. We have a ruler, again with the Real Terrain Hobbies branding. Conversion table on the back. Uh, pretty standard, but yeah, pretty sturdy ruler. We have some milliput. Um, always good. I go for a lot of this stuff. It's always very useful. We have the custom folding cutting mat. So when you open that out, you have a very large cutting mat, but it's easy to then fold up and put away somewhere. So uh, that'll be really useful as well. We have some corkboard pieces. This is useful for a lot of different things. I use it a lot uh, with miniature basing. Okay, we've got two candles. I don't know how it's meant to work. Every time I turn it on, it just does that. Um, oh, there we go. Yep, yeah, so that's very cool. This one actually came broken by the looks of it. Um, but does it... Yeah, it still turns on, so... I'm not too worried about that. Out of all the things that could be broken in here, that's not a big deal to me. Okay, what else we got? Um, this looks like a pallet. Always handy to have a nice big pallet around. Uh, it's got a good texture on it too, it's like a canvasy texture. So that'll be useful. Uh, and here we have a book of uh, disposable um, paint palettes. So you can just rip off a sheet, put it on top of here, and then you've got a reusable palette. Uh, that's that's very useful. And that's everything unboxed. There's so much stuff here. I don't even know where I'm going to put all this. But yeah, it's really cool that the kit includes pretty much everything you need to get started with building terrain. Um, I'm probably going to do a video at some point uh, when I start doing hobby stuff again where I build something just using these parts, uh, something that's suitable for uh, Warhammer and Age of Sigma. So I'm hoping that the blacksmith's cottage uh, that you can build is sort of in that size range. That's right, the one other thing I was going to talk about was the cordless glue gun, so let's have a look at that. Okay, so I've got a lot of glue in here, that's good. Wow, I didn't expect there to be so much glue included, so uh, that's really good. We've got a whole heap of uh, glue refills. Okay, and here is the glue gun. Feels really nice in the hand, it's a nice uh, plastic design. It's got the builder's kit logo on it. Alright, and there's a small instruction manual with that. So, yeah, that's really cool. So that is it. Um, I hope you got something out of this unboxing. Uh, you can probably tell I'm already sweating because it's really hot here in Queensland. So I'm going to get out of here shortly. But uh, yeah, uh, check out Real Terrain Hobbies if you haven't uh, seen his channel before. Uh, and have a look at musekits.com uh, forward slash builderskit. 
if you would like to um, uh, check out this pack for yourself. Also leave a note in the comments of uh, what you would like me to try and build using this kit. So with that, thanks for watching and hope you have a happy new year.